going on everybody, it's Jay Wilson, and today I wanna to talk to you about the best all-around light for anything. An aquarium, a vivarium, growing plants, just overall a very affordable, in my eyes, light from a company that I enjoy very much. And I'll explain right now. But subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and do all those cool things that help to propel this channel in ways because maybe there's some good information for people, right? All right, let's talk about it. Some of you may remember me setting up this vivarium. I've actually had to trim the plants back quite a bit. I was using a light originally that I bought off of Amazon. It was cheap and ultimately, I just didn't see any growth in the plants. However, I reached out to somebody who I know very well and I said, hey, got a question, do your lights do this, this, and this? And they said, yeah, you know, nobody's really ever told us about this or, you know, has ever tried it in that aspect and really given us good feedback, but yeah, you can try it. So we did, right? The growth was explosive and let me show you what I'm talking about. Don't worry, it won't just be vivariums. This plant right here, it, it sat right about here. It looked like it wasn't gonna open up. These leaves always stayed closed or very closed. And now look at them. Just absolutely stunning, you silly camera you. And they have grown well above this to give some retreat to the frogs and the, and the geckos that kind of cruise up and down this branch. This thing, out of control, right? Out of control. This, I think this took on too much water. Um, I don't know for sure, but I, I think it would have to do with this, right? It sits, there's usually water in here and the water seeps in here and then with the constant watering, I just think this is struggling bad. Or maybe it doesn't have enough water, but I think this is too much water. I had to trim this back quite a bit. Um, it still has new growth, it's still doing very well. You can see the frogs. Um, I'll show you what I did with some of these. This is just crawling everywhere. It started back here, it started crawling up here. I trimmed some of it back and then it crawled up this way, whoop, crawled up that way, and then down around, it's over here. This fern here is just absolutely insane. Matter of fact, look at that, that was from back there. Look. So there's just lots of growth everywhere, all because I changed to a specific light. The bromeliad does great. Bromeliad does great. Now, not everything is going to do amazing, but at the end of the day, everything in this vivarium is rocking and rolling. All because of a light change. Let's go to this bad boy, right? Now, same light, much taller vivarium, right? I added some of these plants. This one's okay. These are doing great. I just spliced off, they're still growing. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. This plant is now on a revival tour, thank you. I forgot the name of this, but I love it. I wish I would have put it, eh, I wish I would have put this plant somewhere in here, but it is what it is. Same as that one, right? Already doing wonderful. The bromeliads are doing good. This one's struggling a little bit, I think because of water and that one is dying back there because of lack of light, but still doing well, still definitely doing well. And the moss is staying green, right? I've got moss down in here. The frog is just enjoying his habitat. There's four of them in here. Everything is thriving. I even got a little bit of extra growth back there from a plant that I have no idea where it came from. Let's see. No, nope, I have no idea. Well, I just broke that. <laughs> but I have no idea where that came from. But definitely has growth, staying alive. I really love this plant. Matter of fact, if you've seen George Farmer's uh, Biosphere uh, Vivarium he posted, um, this plant is just absolutely amazing. I got new growth on it. And anytime you plant new plants, like actually this plant might have seeded over there somehow, but I had to drill holes in this and the frogs mess with it got the moss still growing here. Everything is doing well in this vivarium, all because of a light. Very inexpensive. I really like it. I've got plans for some of these lights. I really, really like these. 
More to come on that. These plants are still doing very well. It's been over a week, so what? Typically plants be, will be okay without light, right? For about a week. I've got a, somebody's been digging. Digging, or maybe it's just trying to root itself. Either way, I gotta fix it. But you can see, other than my hot pink shorts, that the growth or the sustainability of these plants is very good based upon the light. That's a win, right? That's a huge win. Matter of fact, I think the snail is going to the light. No. <laughs> so it's like when I make these videos, the light is almost absolutely perfect from all of the natural light, right? I don't have to use any lighting in here. Let me, nah, let me, let me mess with this real quick. So, so what is this light that I speak of that I enjoy so much? I've tried a lot of lights. I've tried Beamsworks, I've tried lesser brands than Beamsworks, and Beamsworks is just an, uh, an off name of a manufacturer in China that's just putting together LED lights. Uh, matter of fact, let me get one. Matter of fact, this is one of them. However, it's just another rebrand. Most people would say, yeah, that's a Beamsworks, right? This is what an original Beamsworks looked like until they started adding all these different, uh, different reiterations or different models, so to speak. And I've tried the planted ones. I've tried the non-planted ones. Either way, they give off a little too much actinic, the blue light, the moonlight, which you really don't need at night for fish because, well, most of the fish that you're keeping probably don't have a ton of light anyway, so ambient light from a room is gonna do just fine because they have no eyelids. But this is a super knockoff. I think I paid, oh my goodness, I don't even know what retail was, but uh, ordering it from a, a distribution, I think this was like $8, $9. I could be wrong, but that's what I remember it being. It has enough LEDs, right? Super bluish purple. I used to keep this on my shell dweller tank. It gets very warm, which not a huge fan of, especially because the housing is super thick, right? Super thick. But there is a brand of lighting that I have supported. Without, without any financial backing, I've supported them. Now, you're gonna laugh because I, I've been working on the Fluval and honestly, none of the plants survived in this tank, the Tanganyika tank with the Fluval light. Um, the Fluval light is very good build quality. Matter of fact, the new Zet light that I have, uh, I think I'm gonna get another one just so I could run a comparison. But even the Zet light, to me, is very comparable to that Fluval light. And while I have a couple of those Fluval lights, current USA just seems to hit every aspect that I need the customization. Yeah, it's got some of these little willy-nilly things that I can do, which I don't really ever use, except when I was working with the Serene kit, especially with ADG, right? They're doing some great stuff with an aquarium that I'm working on getting at some point so that I can set up something really cool. And then using both of the current USA lights on my vivariums and on this aquarium, I have to say, Current USA still to this day, when this video releases, is my go-to. It's not perfect, right? Well, what is perfect? However, I really enjoy the customization. I really enjoy the people that work at Current USA, and you may not, and that's okay. This is, this is not me shoving a brand down your throat because you can go all the way back to videos way, 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 way before and see that Current USA was still there. I now have a better relationship with the company. Matter of fact, I think I gave a light away from Current USA, a marine light, to CJ's aquariums. I don't know what he did with it. Um, you know, CJ, you go watch his channel and you can see maybe where that light went, but 
At the end of the day, Current USA not only supports the community, they provide a good solid product. Metal housing, I haven't had an issue. I've had many, I've probably had, whew, with giving away and using and buying and reselling and uh, probably 15 to 20 different Current USA lights. I've got one, two, three, four, five, I got six currently right now which is more than double of any other light that I have in this aquarium room, vivarium room or office, whatever you want to call it, than any other light. So Current USA will continue to be my go-to and the ones that I am using here are all the same. It's a Current Satellite Plus Pro. I have two 18 inches, I have uh, two 48 inches, and I have a Serene 48, 48 inch kit and I believe a 24 inch kit. And I, I don't believe that the Plus Pro is on the Serene kit. I could be wrong, but I do know that it's still a decent light to grow very easy plants. However, the Plus Pro does exactly what I need it to do for growing plants that really don't need an exceptional amount of light because I don't want to spend six, 700 bucks on a light. You can get a Satellite Plus Pro probably in and around for a small vivarium you know, under a hundred bucks and then for a 48 inch light. I don't use 72 inch lights, folks. I, I don't use them. Um, I don't like just light, just bang. You know, I don't like saturation. I like a little bit of shadowing. Um, I like to create dramatic effects and that's why this works, especially on this aquarium. So do yourself a favor. You got a 72 inch tank, get a 48 inch light. Um, if you got something bigger than 72, maybe get yourself a couple 36s. Um, I like to piece them together so that I can create some cool stuff. But at the end of the day, again, current is where it's at. I've never used their pump, so to speak. I've seen them in action. They seem to work really well. Um, I know friends that have the orbit, um, the orbit system, <laughs> the loop system, and they seem to really like it. Um, I prefer current plus pro. I like to keep things simple. And yeah, so I would say in my opinion right now where I am at, current USA satellite plus pro is the best all around light for what I am using it for. And what would be really cool is if I had, you know, 18 inch vivarium, 18 inch vivarium, 18 inch vivarium, 18 inch vivarium, and I just strung one light across it. You know, that'd be really neat too. Um, keeps it really simple. Um, I believe the smallest light that they make is an 18 inch. And I wish, I wish they made a serene kit in an 18 inch kit. So Curran, if you're listening, I've got an idea. And maybe we can work on it together. Um, but I think it'd be really freaking amazing with what I want to do. So thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, tweeting, commenting. Let me know what your favorite light is. It doesn't matter what it is. I'd like to know what you find to be the best light for you at this moment in time. Cool? Cool beans? Cool, 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 cool beans. It didn't buffer. That was me. Now for some motivation. So motivation, it's something that gets you, you know, gives you energy to complete a goal or a task, right? But I'll give you a personal example. I love an ice cold can of Coke. It has to be Coca-Cola. I used to like Pepsi, but it's Coca-Cola. It's like, God, it tastes so good, especially on like a hot day. It's super cold, it hits, it burns a little bit. And I was up to like 200 pounds. I had been sick before. I got a lot of problems from being in the military and doing what I did. And I mean, I had live worms in my body at one time from being in a country where I ate local food and uh, whatever. At the end of the day, I needed to lose weight, but I would never cut out soda. I would always go, well, I'll just work out some more. I'll do this, you know, but I could never get myself to stick to a routine. I can get motivated, work out a few times and then back off. I'd walk into a gas station to pump gas or to grab something and I'd see a Coke and I'd be like, oh, I got to get that mm, delicious. Until one day I was walking by the mirror. I had shorts on. Yes, no t-shirt. And I was like, oh, <laughs> what in the heck happened to you? And so I, I got comfortable enough with myself to look myself in the eye legitimately. And, and you can, I was listening to a lot of David Goggins at the time. And I looked and I was real with myself. I didn't hold any punches. And you should never talk to anybody else like this. But I think talking to yourself like this sometimes is right. And I looked at myself and I said, you're fat. You're disgusting. You, you've let everything go. Your discipline on everything that you've ever taken care of in terms of your body is gone and you're, you're no better for it. 
I immediately stop soda. And now the motivation to me is I don't need it, right? I don't need it. I don't even crave it. Now, if I have some whiskey, yeah, I'll throw in some Coke. And I'm not drinking it separately. I don't drink every day. Matter of fact, there'll probably be a week or so where I'll go without ever having a drink. Um, I'm consuming a lot of water and unsweet tea. Sometimes I'll make it mix in a little bit of sweet, but I try to keep those sugars low. The idea is motivation is temporary. You need to find discipline within that motivation to keep yourself fired up and on task. So do yourself a favor, find that little bit of motivation, be real with yourself and fix whatever it is that you wanna fix. Have a good one.